What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, I have some new WWE action figure clothing for you guys, as well as a new custom Seth Rollins that I will be receiving very soon, and I'm going to show that off to you guys. But uh, anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get straight into things. I'm I'm freaking hyped, man. I'm, I'm, I'm like 25, 30 minutes into editing the MDT Royal Rumble, and it's just, it's just so nice, man. I'm so happy to be done filming that for you guys. It's just so great. I'm still trying to get it up by tomorrow. Like, if I can't have it up tomorrow, morning i'm gonna shoot for tomorrow night sometime i'm gonna literally try my best guys i've literally i've been running on like two hours of sleep every night i've been staying up late filming and editing and doing customs and just trying to do everything i can so that i can get that show up to you guys but anyways we got some epic shirts here we'll, we'll talk about the rumble later on in the video but um it's just it's so close man it's so close i'm about to pass out just doing the video it's literally 5 a.m right now i was i was editing the rumble and then i realized oh my god i i I don't have an upload. I never recorded my action figure clothing haul. So what we got here, guys, is we have two shirts, and you guys will see. I actually own these shirts, which is pretty cool. Maybe if I, uh, I ever uh, do like a casual tray from MDT custom figure. You know, we have my commentary figure. We have my figure that I'm chilling in the commentary booth that I, you know, do every single week. These are t-shirts. This is for casual wear, but I am not going to be wearing these like I would in real life. These men, obviously, are going to be holding these. Finn Balor and Seth Rollins. And these shirts do come to us from my boy custom underscore figure underscore shirts on Instagram. Very high quality. Very nice stuff. I can't wait to put these on the figures. They don't stain like other things do. I just thought that this shirt would look great on this Finn Balor. I didn't want to use my red custom Finn Balor because I felt like, you know, it would be too much. You know what I'm saying? Too much red, man. We don't need enough red. I feel like Finn Balor, when he was over on Raw, he wore red way too much. So let's go ahead and stick this shirt on here. I love the quality, man. It's so nice. It's like a real shirt feel. It's kind of insane the way they feel. But let's go ahead and slide this on. It fits the figures perfectly. I, I literally think the only way you could do any better is if it didn't have Velcro, but that doesn't even bother me. They stretch so well. They're very pliable. Like, Look at that shirt, man. Holy Jesus. This Finn Balor is literally becoming, you know, slowly and slowly more, one of my favorite figures in my collection. That custom fix-up slash whatever you want to call it, the white wrist tape with the ringside exclusive Finn Balor with the black knee pads and the white kick pads with the white tape, man, that's that's freaking sick, nasty farticles. If you guys want to see how we made this, go watch uh, one of the WWE action figure surgery episodes. I don't even remember which uh, episode it was, but there's Finn Balor. Look how clean that is, man. That is just dirty. If I had, you know, a bunch of money, well, my birthday is coming up. Up. Uh, if I had a bunch of money, I would be like, I'd be buying the hell out of these shirts from my man, Custom Figure Shirts. So there's Finn Balor. I love the way that came out. I would love to know your thoughts down below. Let me know. But we also have Seth Rollins in the Beast Slayer t-shirt. And this one is fantastic. I love the logo. He obviously slayed the Beast at WrestleMania 35 and became the new Universal Champion. And this is going to look great on this figure. Um, it's going to look even better when I put it on my Custom Mania 35 Seth Rollins, which which is the figure I'm going to show you guys after we get this t-shirt on here. So what looks so good about it is because it's got the, oh, uh, look at that right there. That is so, look how accurate that is, man. The Money in the Bank 2018 attire with the Beast Slayer t-shirt. The only way you can make it better is to put this t-shirt on my WrestleMania 35 Seth Rollins. And if you add the Universal Championship right here, oh my God. Look how epic that is, man. That is just absolutely beautiful. That is perfection. Look at this. Look at this. The custom figure shirts, man, they they just bring your collection to life. Am I right? If you guys own any custom figure shirts, then you know what I'm talking about. They just make the figures look so much more realistic. And I think both of these are freaking perfect now. They look so good. I, I'm, I'm going to leave them on there. It just looks great. But... The picture that you will see on your screen right now, guys, is my custom Elite WrestleMania 35 Seth Rollins that will be made by Angel. I think his name is. I can't remember if it's Angel or whatever, but he is the customizer that makes all of the customs and the batches that you see over on G Natty's page on YouTube. You guys know G Natty. He's one of the OG WWE figure YouTubers. Not as active as he used to be, but he is my boy. I love him to death. One of my good friends in the community and one of the inspirations behind my entire channel. And this is the Rollins that we will be receiving. He does have have an Elite 45 Seth Rollins head scan on there, but the reason that he has the Elite 45 Seth Rollins head scan on there is because I told him I wanted it headless, so I'm sure he'll send it headless. If he doesn't, who cares? I'm going to pop a tie
top talents head scan on there. You guys saw in yesterday's video, if you didn't, we literally got so many top talents Seth Rollins head scans. So I have plenty to use over with, you know, I have plenty of uh, leftovers to use and make fix ups and customs and stuff of that nature. I just love this Seth Rollins scan, man. It looks so good. It's just, it's just so nice. So there is it. We got the beautiful looking Finn Balor ringside exclusive with a custom t-shirt. Guys, I, I literally don't know how to explain it, but whatever material he uses for these shirts, is fantastic. It literally feels like I don't know what to what to call it, but it's uh, it's like a meshy. I don't I don't know what to say. But he also made this custom Kevin F and Owens T-shirt that uh, Kevin Owens will be rocking at the MDT Royal Rumble whenever we finish it, and it looks beautiful too. I mean, here is a this is a different T-shirt. You guys can see the difference in the material. I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but this was made by a different T-shirt maker who is also good. But these I don't know, man. These are next level. I would love to. I, I I've literally ordered anybody that's made custom figure shirts. I'm pretty sure I have at least one shirt from them in my collection because I like to, you know, dib and dabble in all of the different uh, figure shirt companies and the people that make them on Instagram and stuff. I'll, I'll go over there, pick up one, compare it to others, and, you know, just fill out which ones I like best. But custom figure shirts, I think he's on top, man, out of all of them. Out of everyone, I mean, I've, I've literally felt around. Uh, Ring of Clothing makes excellent stuff, too. My God, he's a beast. I literally have shirts from him, Threadhead, Custom Figure Shirts, Ralph's, Eminem. I've literally done it all, but I don't know, man. Hard to compete with these. But there is the Custom Figure Hall. You guys saw the WrestleMania 35 Seth Rollins Custom, so that's pretty much going to do it for today's video, guys. I apologize. This is later than I usually upload. It's not that much later, but it is later. I got so sidetracked editing for you guys and getting the rumble done as fast as possible that I completely forgot but I am doing it now and that is it but the rumble is on its way I posted it on my Instagram story I was completely finished with filming I am about 20 to 25 minutes into the editing process and it's gonna be a long show I can go ahead and tell you it's gonna be it's gonna be a long one and I think I'm gonna premiere it we'll just have to see but I, I think it will be a premiere and if you guys are worried about you know getting distracted by comments if you don't want to look at the comment section of the live chat as it's premiered then don't look at the chat just watch the video for yourself and then once the you know premiere is over you can go back and watch it a second time or whatever to get all the details and uh, catch up on anything that you missed during the show but I'm excited for you guys to see it I literally have just been grinding so hard so that you guys will see it. I, I'm so excited for you guys to see it and I'm so just happy with it and I'm, I'm ready to see what everybody thinks of it. But that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the custom figure shirts. Definitely go pick up some that are absolutely fantastic. Would highly recommend 12 out of 12, 100 out of 100. Definitely go pick up some figure shirts from them. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.